Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at how to navigate DeliverPoint. We're going to start off by navigating to a SharePoint site and look at the contextual features of DeliverPoint before looking at more of the centralized features. So whilst we're inside a site as the site owner, we're going to see first of all in the top right hand corner a few of the shortcuts in order to be able to access DeliverPoint. And you'll also see DeliverPoint around inside of lists and libraries. So notice that when we go into a document library, we're going to see DeliverPoint on the command bar here. And we're also going to see DeliverPoint on the context menu against different folders and files. So let's just have a look at what some of those reports are before heading into the more centralized features of DeliverPoint. So in the top right hand corner, in order to be able to access the full DeliverPoint environment, we can click on to DeliverPoint at the very top here. And within this dialog, we're going to see all of the reports and all of the actions uh, that are available to you. And some of these may change depending on what you have selected as the scope. And we'll talk more about that scope in a moment. But uh, let's have a look at some of the other reports. So in the drop down, you'll notice there's a discover permissions report. The Discover Permissions report is the report that is going to run just purely on this site and it's going to show you everybody that has a direct permission to the site. And it doesn't matter whether they're an internal user, an external user, what permission level they have or how they came about that permission. If they have permissions to the site, you're going to be able to see them listed here inside the Discover Permissions report. And in the next video, we're going to get more in depth on this report. We'll learn how to sort it, how to filter it, and get what you want out of the report. But worthwhile just noting at the moment that this is purely those people that have access to your site. So the other thing you can do from here is also select the different rows. So notice with this row selected, that becomes the scope and the user account that the actions would perform on. So if I wanted to, for example, transfer permissions, um, then notice how that demo user 4 is already selected when I start my transfer permissions action. Okay, so this is the Discover Permissions report. The Discover Permissions report can be ran at the site here. It can also be ran within a list or within a library. So you'll notice here that we can click on to Discover Permissions on the library itself and we can also discover permissions against folders or items and it's possible to report on more than one folder or more than one item at any given time so uh, notice here if we choose the discover permissions report on those folders then that's exactly what we get we get a list of people that are permissioned on the folders that we selected and so what we're going to do now is have a look at a different Discover Permissions report because even what I've just shown you is quite time consuming. It does require that you produce the report on the site and then produce a report on a list or a library and also on those items. But what we can do is go into the main DeliverPoint page and from the main DeliverPoint page is a advanced version of the Discover Permissions report. And when I execute that one, we've got some choices here that we can make such as reporting on all of those objects where the permission inheritance is unique. So wherever we've got folders with broken permission inheritance or items with broken permission inheritance, or even lists or libraries with broken permission inheritance, we can include those in the report. And also we can include sharing links as well. Now notice I've not selected the bottom three options, which are to include subsites with inherited permissions or items or lists or libraries with inherited permissions as well. So we're going to exclude that because largely they're all going to be the same as the container, which is the site in this case. And uh, we could also filter this report as well. Um, so we can filter that on looking at just external users, or we can look at certain usernames by display name or by email address, and likewise with how they are permissioned also. So I'm just going to generate this report and you'll notice that we get that report back with uh, exactly what I selected, not just the site, but the lists and any items as well that have unique permissions. And what you'll also find is that all of the reports you can export. So if we wanted to take a snapshot of this at a given moment in time, we could do that using the export report option on the actions menu. So that's how we can get to the Discover permissions. Now, I also want to show you the sharing links. So sharing links is another way of providing somebody with access to maybe a folder, maybe a document, uh, something with inside the site. And uh, it can be time consuming to try and find each file or folder that has a sharing link. With DeliverPoint, 
it's just a couple of clicks from that shortcut menu in the top right hand corner to be able to scan the entire site for any sharing links. So in here you can see that we've got a list with a sharing link and this is uh, for specific people giving them edit permissions and beneath that we have item sharing links. So notice companies for example is a folder and as I expand that we can see who that sharing link was actually shared with and uh, the bottom one here is anybody with the link uh, can access that one and so notice that when we do select these we can remove those sharing links immediately if we want to so that's a couple of the contextual reports and just to also point out that the sharing links report if you want to be a bit more specific can be again ran on the library so we can pull up the sharing links report here on the document library. We can also pull up a sharing links report on multiple files and folders. So this way we're really sort of focusing in on just those specific folders. All right, so that's just some of the uh, contextual reports. A good place to get started as well when you're inside a site is the permissions summary. So by running this report, what we can do is just really focus in on those objects with unique permissions, find out what sharing links there are, any items or, or subsites that don't have any permissions assigned to them. And uh, we've also got usage information as well uh, that we can include inside the report. So when I generate that, we get a single report telling me lots of high level information. Um, so from here, we could drill in to see how many sharing links that we had and who those sharing links are shared with. So that's just a simple case of clicking onto that icon next to the sharing links and we can see the sharing links report. We can also see items with unique permissions. So we can produce that one as well. These are all the folders or the documents that may have unique permissions inside my site. And uh, we could also see subsites with unique permissions so we can list them as well and so on. And so from any of these reports, you can always choose the scope to be selected from within inside that report. So if I saw this subsite regions of the Lightning Tool sales site, they both have unique permissions. One of the things I might decide to do is compare the permissions. So that's one of the reports that we can run and we can see what the difference is in permissions based on those two SharePoint sites. So uh, any of those reports you can run, not just from the unique objects, but also from uh, things like the uh, sharing links as well and so on. We can basically set our scope uh, from that report. Okay, so that's how to navigate your way around DeliverPoint when you are inside of a site. And a question that often comes up is, how is this security trimmed? So what if we had somebody that is a member of the site? Um, so let's just demonstrate that. I'm going to take this same site URL here and I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard and then we're going to come into this same site here but as a different user and this, this user is demo user 5. So uh, now I'm inside the site as demo user 5 and you'll notice that the deliver point shortcut icon has not appeared. Okay, so uh, likewise with inside the lists and the libraries as well, you're not going to see anything of DeliverPoint unless you are a user that happens to have full control uh, to that content. Okay, so let's head into the main DeliverPoint page. So inside the main DeliverPoint page, we can make this full screen. And what we're going to be doing different here uh, is perhaps changing the scope that we have selected as well. So notice that the scope here is set to Lightning Tool Sales at the moment. And the reason why it's set to Lightning Tool Sales is because that is the team site that I was on when I accessed DeliverPoint. But what I can do is change that scope by clicking onto the Show Tree View option. So when you click the Show Tree View option, you're going to see any other site collections that you have access to. And uh, when we see this, we can drill into those site collections. And the current site collection that we're on is always going to be at the very top. So uh, notice we can drill into that one, we can see the subsites, and we can see the lists and the libraries that make up that subsite as well. So uh, in here, we've got partners and we have regions. And we've already established on the previous report that we ran that regions has unique permissions. And notice that we can tell that by the full color blue icon here versus the dimmed icon of partners. So whenever you see a dimmed icon, that is inheriting permissions. And uh, you can see that that is referenced in the legend here as well for those icons. And the same thing applies to lists and libraries. Notice this document library here has a full color icon versus this client documents, which has a dimmed icon. So anything with that full color icon, 
again has unique permissions. So as we collapse that site collection, you're going to see a mixture of different types of site collection as well. So this is a SharePoint site collection that has been made available made available in Teams, so that's a, a Teamified site, if you like. Uh, we've also got some classic site collections, which are depicted by this hierarchy type icon. And we've also got Microsoft 365 groups, uh, such as this one here. And you may also see some hub sites uh, in there as well. And you can focus in on just those certain site collections if you want to. So this is all the hub sites. We can see all just the classic sites, and we can see all the Teams as well by changing up that tree view. So basically when we're using that tree view, uh, whatever we select here, notice becomes the scope. So I've just changed the scope from the Lightning Tool Sales to the Regions site. If I select Partners, the scope is Regions and Partners. And the reason why we call it a scope is because we're selecting that down. So the scope is everything that is beneath Partners and everything that is beneath Regions. If I was to select the Sales site, the scope includes partners and regions now. So it's again everything beneath that with inside the hierarchy. So this allows me to report from this point down and it also allows me to manage from this point down as well. So if I wanted to be able to copy permissions, for example, between two accounts, I could do it from that site down, which is effectively going to be the entire site collection, or I could do it from the regions site down if that's where I needed to focus my efforts. Okay, so that's how we can change the scope. Um, so you'll notice here that that scope could also be multiple site collections as well. And uh, this time we've now got a team selected plus two standard site collections. So when I report, such as doing a discover permissions report, you can see that we've got the report coming back on the sales. But as we navigate through this, we've also got it on regions, which is a child site of Lightning Tool Sales. Plus we've also got some of these other uh, site collections being returned as well uh, with inside those views. Okay, so that's how we can set the scope. Uh, the different types of reports that you see inside of here uh, may differ as well depending on what you've got selected. So if I have a site collection selected, notice that we've got a few different reports like discover usage showing up in here. And if I was to deselect that and just choose a site, menu gets a lot shorter uh, than having a site collection selected. Okay, so uh, the site collection also includes things like dead accounts and unlicensed users and things like that too. So we'll get more into these reports throughout this video series, but uh, just to point out that we've found the scope. These are the reports that we can run on those scopes. This includes report templates. So if you've created some templates, again, we'll be getting into that. These are saved reports that you can frequently run if you want to. And as we go into that, you'll see that I've got some of these uh, templates already created and we can go through and reuse them uh, just by clicking on the generate button and uh, not having to worry about setting the scope or setting filters or that sort of thing. So uh, we'll get more into that uh, as the, uh, the videos go on and we'll also get into some of the different actions that we can perform, such as the copy, transfer, delete, grant and revoke permissions. And uh, we'll also get into some of the unique object type reports as well and uh, and this also leads on to being able to clone permissions using the permission management features so we can break permission inheritance re-inherit permissions uh, and notice if I just have one selected I could also copy the site permissions from this site to another site as well okay so hopefully that has helped you find your way around deliver point in SharePoint and uh, if you are using it in Teams as well, you've got exactly the same functionality, uh, but you can access it through Teams through the personal app on the left hand side of your Teams environment. So uh, notice that DeliverPoint shows up here. Uh, we can select that. DeliverPoint is going to load with the context of Teams, and that allows me to report and manage permissions across multiple Teams inside of my environment as well. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to get more in depth into some of that contextual reporting. And uh, also in the third video under getting started, we're going to get more in depth in the centralized reporting as well. Okay, hope you found that useful and uh, look forward to you in the next video.